Today, I'll be giving you an inside look at what it's like to be a product designer at Klarna, one of Europe's leading tech companies. Klarna's mission is to make shopping smooth, and that's smooth with three O's. Best known for their buy now, pay later service, Klarna also helps people buy the right product at the best price. And that's what I'm working with. Specifically, I'm working with the shopping assistant in the Klarna app. Klarna has 5,000 employees, and there are nine product development hubs. Stockholm, where I'm in right now, being one of them. Last time I checked, there are about 150 people in the UX design org, and that includes product designers, UX researchers, content designers, and front-end designers. Klarna has a flexible work policy. That means that you can work from anywhere within your country of employment. However, my team does have seating allocated to it. So every Monday and Tuesday, I come to the office to sit together with my team, which I think is great to uh, be able to have discussions in real life and not just stare at a Google Meets screen. The office is in the city center and from where I'm currently living out <laughs> further away from Stockholm, it takes about 30 minutes to get in. So this office is located at Sveavägen 46, and it has seven floors that belong to Klarna. The ground floor is the floor that is most on point with the Klarna branding. First floor is under construction. The second and third floor were recently renovated, and now they look a lot more Klarnified, that's where I'm currently sitting right now. I actually usually spend most time on the fourth and fifth floor. And then there's also a seventh floor, which I think Klarna recently acquired because it doesn't look that Klarna at all. It has mathematical formulas on the wall, not very Klarna. I come in at 9 a.m. and go to wherever my team is sitting. All the desks are equipped with a curved monitor. And if you're extra lucky, there's a wireless charging square where you can charge your AirPods. The first meeting of the day is usually the stand up. I have them at 9.30 with my team. After that is done, I usually spend time doing deep work. I go to the quiet room and bang out some awesome deep work. Shout out to Cal Newport. It's now lunchtime and I'm hungry. And at Klarna, you do get Uber Eats vouchers that you can use every week. But uh, if you don't wanna use them, you can also go to whichever restaurant that you want, and there are loads since we are in the center of the city. And if you are hungry later, there are loads of food bowls. If you're curious about what kind of meetings I'm in, we do have the regular scrum ceremonies, so planning, retros, demos, things like that. Specifically for my domain, uh, we have a weekly sync with the designers. I also have one-on-ones, both with my product manager and my design manager who is supporting me here at Klarna. And of course, we also have design crits, and that is usually every other Wednesday where we in the shopping experience domain show what we're working on and get feedback from other designers. And since we are in Sweden, we also have the Fika break, which is you basically eating some kind of pastry and having coffee, and uh, that is something you should not forget. As a product designer at Klarna, I do the typical stuff. So it could be things like doing research, doing UI design, holding workshops, and thinking with a lot of people to understand what we should be working on, uh, what we should be doing next, all the fun stuff that comes with creating a great product. And then at 5 p.m. I start to pick up, grab one last fruit before I go home. And that's a day in the life of a product designer at Klarna. If you have any more questions, feel free to drop them down below. And if you want to see more content about being a product designer, click here or here. I don't know where I put it. See you in the next one. Bye. Nice.